Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Now for our past two videos, we went up into the attic where there's a plethora of toys and there's still a lot more hiding up there in the mounds of storage. Uh, a lot of toys, like I said, that haven't been touched for years. But this time, we're going somewhere different. Where are we going? We're going in the basement. In the basement on a rainy night. But let me tell you what's cool about the basement. It's not a creepy storage basement, at least it didn't used to be. <laughs> you see, in middle school, the basement was my bedroom. That was a big bedroom. It was. And it was my bedroom from middle school all the way up until I moved out. And I'll tell you, like a lot of kids, what they'll do is when they grow up, they'll take their decorations down and they'll change their room. Mine, I added to it, but I never took anything down. So we're going to see some pretty old posters and stuff hanging up. But also, the basement has now become a storage area. So there's going to be a lot of storage down there, but also a lot more retro toys. So let's go take a look at the decor, some of the stuff that's been up there since the 90s, and the toys that have been hiding down there for quite some time. Okay, so coming up on the basement, Superstars dressing room. Do not enter. Yeah, that's been there since middle school. So that here we go. Yours? Yes, it was. We got the Rat Pack on the back of the door because I did like a little vintage nostalgia. But let's look at some of this stuff here. All right. So the Magics, that was my dad's group. And I have a bunch of their memorabilia hanging up here. Uh, an old placemat where you can find all the 41 errors. And that was from a place that we ate out in the Poconos in Pennsylvania. Star Trek, the next generation kite with Commander Data and Picard on there. Okay, we've got a Fort Delaware banner. And coming around here, some rules for Jeff's room. I was a Four Seasons fan, so I got some of their pictures hanging up. And I liked the 50s, so it's interesting. Back in the 90s, I liked the 50s, and now we're looking back at the 90s. Uh, we have the Lackawanna Coal Mine Tour and a Star Trek Generations poster. This would have came with one of the figures, with one of the action figures. This is like the biggest room ever. I just realized that. The biggest room ever, right? Yeah. Hey, as I'm looking at you, I look up above the doorway there. We've got some stuff that I put up there featuring, let's see if we can get a good look at it. Uh, Garfield, Bugs oh, Bunny, seen those up there. Tasmanian Devil, Dino, I believe he came in a cereal box, Daffy Duck. Coming down, more of the Magic's memorabilia. Another Generations poster. A Kid Cuisine light switch cover. Now, before middle school, my room was down here too. I had moved out of here and then back down here. So that might be even older then. So we've got some old newspaper clippings from 1994. Star Trek special, Back to the Future. Coming down, we've got When Generations was in the movie theaters. I was a Star Trek fan. I was, indeed. Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Collector's Comics. And coming a little further down, look at this, Batman Forever. And there, ladies and gentlemen, there's the Showtimes right there. How cool is that? Yeah, we were excited about Batman Forever. Okay, so coming down, let's get some light on the subject here, and there it is. So you can see where it's become storage. But there's still a lot of stuff down here that, from what once was. And looking at some cool stuff over here, we've got a Legion of Doom hat. We've got a Sting video game. Booker T, I see a Stone Cold mug back there. And then we have the Elvis phone here. Let's see if this still, look at that, still rings. So if we look up here, we're going to see some pretty cool things. These were the mail-in order G.I. Joes. I had this one, and it was the 1964 to 1994. As you can see that it says down there on the wooden pedestal that he stands on. So I had this one, and then next to him is the winter G.I. Joe. And they pretty much stood here since they were opened, since 1994. His goggles are kind of dry rotted and falling off him, but up above him, we have the Green Hornet, but this is Captain Action as the Green Hornet. I'm not 100% sure what the deal was with the Captain Action figure, 
but he came as like the Green Hornet, the Lone Ranger, various other uh, figures. And then we have Captain Kirk from perhaps Generations or any one of the Star Trek movies sitting up there on the windowsill. Wasn't it scary down here with no windows, only that small little bit? No, not at all. Not at all. All right, so first thing I want to do, and I know because I did look in these drawers recently, and I saw something pretty cool. Look at this. Still in the package, Rambo weapons from the original Rambo action figures. They were made by Coleco. 1985, 1986. Let's flip this thing around here and see what we got. Okay, we've got a crossbow, a serrated machete, a whip, a couple of handguns, a couple of machine guns. That is indeed awesome. So Alex found one of my old wallets over here. And there's a card for Video Show Place. Okay, this is back when you used to go to a video store to rent videos. We got an Eagles hamper here. And I know there's some stuff in here. I'm not sure exactly what, but as we open it up, this is a Ghostbusters zapper. But what it does is it projects ghosts on the wall. Pull the trigger there, it projects the ghosts on the wall, and you can pretend that you're zapping them. This guy I've looked up recently, and this is Man Spider. He has a platform that he stands on, and I've seen him going for quite a bit of money. Now, I'm not sure about this one. I will say that this one has not been played with at all. He's pretty much been opened and put on the stand. So what you're seeing on him is just dust from being in the basement long after I moved out. So I'm seeing there's a bag of something here that we've got to pull out. A bag of figures. A little stuck in there. They're in a Boston Markets bag. If I can get them the right way. Yeah, here we go. Let's see what's in this bag. Okay. Open it up on this carpet right here. All right. So... Looking in here, we've got, ooh, and what's funny is I just found this guy's vest upstairs. This is Snake Eyes. And I will tell you, this is from the line of action figures, of 12-inch action figures that came out when I was a kid. And I just found his vest upstairs, like I said. Each one had a unique serial number on them. But they also have a scar. Each of the good guys has a scar somewhere on their face. And with Snake Eyes, you can see his scar is right over his his eye there. And this goes back to the original G.I. Joe, which, thinking about it, I do have. I forgot, right up here. So we have this one, the anniversary one, where you can see the scar on his face. Okay? But if I move some of this stuff back here in this protective bubble... There is the original G.I. Joe with the eyes that move. So we've kept him from getting dust on him and stuff. But there he is. Look at this. And this one, he's got a little lever behind his head that moves his eyes. Now talk about dry rotted. Okay, when I was a kid, I remember being a little kid. I was up in the attic with my mom. And we found this guy. He used to belong to my brother. And as soon as we picked him up, he basically just crumbled in our hands. There's a band that holds his head on. There's a band that holds his arms and legs on. However, he did stick together at the waist and his legs stuck together. But the arms, the head fell right off. So he's kind of pieced together there. And you can see the ring from the dust. So he's been in this bubble since the 90s. So you found something else in the bag there. This guy's from Ghostbusters. Oh, he is? Usually they make these. And I think his, his legs, see, look. Yeah. And, and, you know, he was kind of with the same collection as there was the football guy up in the attic, who I wish I brought down. Oh, look, there we go. Swamp Thing. And I believe this Swamp Thing changed color. Hmm. Either in water or in cold, I forget. Oh, you didn't bring down the Swamp Guy? I did. I did. But you can see his arms broken. I had a bunch of guys that unfortunately when I was a kid, they got left in a bucket in the backyard, like a big toy bucket. Water filled up, 
and it froze. And when I dumped the block of ice out, a lot of these guys broke. And some of them I irresponsibly as a child chipped away at the block of ice and did this kind of damage that I just uh, can't forgive myself for. No, so this right there, that's Krang. Oh, I remember him. From Ninja Was Turtles. Oh, yeah. Yep. And I found the guy upstairs who he goes in. Mm -hmm. He controlled that. That guy was like a robot that he controlled. Mm -hmm. I wish I brought that down. But I once again, another thing I forgot to do. More Ghostbusters. And this guy should react if we do something. Uh, there's a tank on his back. There we go. Ah. Can I see? Yeah. Ah. 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 Now this is cool. We've got Silverhawks here. This guy's from Silverhawks. And I know his head would flip around and there'd be another guy under it. Oh, nice. That's from the Supernaturals, right? And there's a there's a piece that goes up in there that has the hologram on it. So these were the smaller figures from the Supernaturals. We found one of the shields earlier with the holograms on them. Oh, yeah. Yep, the shields went to the bigger guys. These guys had glow-in-the-dark swords. And we found some of those swords the one time we were looking up there in the attic. Is it Brendy's horse? That is Gumby's horse. Oh, yeah. Gumby. Gumby, yep. We've got an old Fisher-Price cow here. Anyone remember those? It's an old Fisher-Price bull. Oh, this is cool. So this is a masked Crusaders uh, Play-Doh mold. You could, I had the Play-Doh molds that you could make the guys and you could make their masks and... Um, some pretty good times with that. You hear some strange sounds over there? No, I was looking at the Play-Doh thing. Because when she said that, it reminded me of the Play-Doh thing. Oh, yeah. Hey, friend, he's weird. Okay, I'm going to put the light on. Maybe help us with the focus a little bit. Yeah, we have some trouble down here. But spider. we've got the Wolfman. This, these are from Ghostbusters. The Wolfman. You already pulled this guy out. He looks like a kind of like a witch doctor. We've got like the Quasimodo type guy and he would do something but it doesn't look like that's going to work anymore. What about this gun? That gun? I'm not sure who that belongs to. I'm not 100% sure. It might be a G.I. Joe. Mm -hmm. Might be something else. This guy shot out of the mouth of a uh, another Ghostbusters ghost thing. Oh, there's the other one. That's cool. So yeah, these guys would kind of, you put them in the guy and you squeeze them and they'd go flying out and you could knock over the Ghostbusters guys with them. And we've got the turtle from Mario. He's really detailed, this astronaut. He is. And I got this guy at IGA when it used to be down there by Landhope Farms. It was like the International Grocery Association. So it's amazing that this guy is just a light, lightweight plastic guy. And he's still around. And is this not Launchpad McQuack? That was the guy from Ghostbuster or from uh, Scrooge McDuck. Aloha. I forget this guy's name, but he had wings that went on his back and he had a hat that went on. He was a pilot. And you found Marge Simpson. Now there's one more bag over here in the bottom of this hamper that I want to take a look at. Let's see if we can fish this thing out of here. And I don't know. I'm not sure what's gonna be in this one. Let's see. Oh. Oh, look at this. Some, now I saw you found some of the Ninja Turtles over there. This is Dracula. Yeah. Okay, this is Donatello is Dracula. You have the mummy. Let's see that mummy. Let's take a look at him. That's Raphael as the mummy. You know what's cool about Raphael? He glows in the dark. He does. He glows in the dark. Let's put this guy up by the light here for a second. And then go ahead and turn off the light and let's see what happens. Go ahead and turn it completely off. Oh. There he is. Glow glowing in the dark. Yeah, how cool is that? All right. So that was pretty cool. As stated earlier, I love glow-in-the-dark figures. But 
more so in the monster collection. I have Michelangelo as Frankenstein. There should be one more. There should be one more. I can't think of what he's going to be. Oh. And this is the guy that shoots those things out of his mouth right here. So we have Battlestar Galactica. There's Ultraman. Did you get them from that knockoff brand Dollar Tree? Ultraman? Yeah. No, Ultraman's legit. In fact, I mentioned a play set upstairs that the train was part of. Mm -hmm. And I even found one of the little guys that went with it. We've been finding pieces of the buildings. Mm -hmm. That was to him. This is the legit, real deal Ultraman. Okay. A few more Ninja Turtles. Classics. Baxter Stockman. Leonardo as a samurai. Is that one of the costume guys? No, he's not one of the costume guys. Um, I forget what this was from, but he was just, for some reason, dressed as a samurai. Now I'm seeing something pretty cool in here, okay? Um, for one, first, we've got a couple more ghosts that came with the Ghostbusters in the packs with them, right? But what else is a... Where'd he go? I know I wasn't seeing things. I thought I saw a GoBot in here. Did I not see a GoBot? Let me over the Ah, here he is, right here. Look at this. So he's like a bulldozer. One of the things is broken off, but he transforms into a GoBot. That's kind of cool. And the arms used to pop out. They're pretty well stuck in there now, but. was that? The machines that are in this house. What machines? Dude, you're freaking me out. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> These were cool too. These were guns that went with G.I. Joe's. You put the missile in there and push the button on the back and it would launch them. I can see this is not going to, the spring's not really going to work on that anymore. So we got Castle Grayskull down and Alex has been asking about some He-Man figures. Mm -hmm. And I know I've probably got quite a bit more than that are down here, but I saw a He-Man collector's case down here and I kind of took a peek, but I didn't want to go too far without being able to get it on video the first time that these things have been unveiled since who knows how long ago but coming over to this side of the room we've got a fantastic four poster right here okay and then we've got some other pretty cool retro guys here right <laughs> including look at this the gi joe adventure team ornaments it's got the mummy's curse uh, from the original G.I. Joe. So we've also got Snake Mountain over here. And this is in a little bit better shape than Castle Grayskull because it hasn't had a bear the attic. It's got the microphone up here that used to be able to talk into. I'd love to put batteries in it and see if it still works. Do you want to take that out? But we don't have the other side to it, only half, um. right? But that's okay because over here... Um, and, and like I said, I, it's, I'm sure it's around here somewhere, the other side. But over here, it's actually in a Ninja Turtles case. We have original He-Man figures. And I'm not sure what kind of condition they're going to be in <gasps> from being in the basement for this long. Now, be careful as you pull them out because they may very well fall apart. Okay, so this is, Skeletor. we can get some light on them here. This is Battle Armor Skeletor. And I don't know what is with the focus down here. I just cannot get it to focus. But yeah, there he is. Battle Armor Skeletor. Does he still work? I don't know. Might take something to get him working. Okay, so unfortunately the He-Man figures didn't fare too well down here in the basement. That's not the extent of the He-Man figures that I have, but it is a, a big bulk of them. Now there's quite a few toys down here in the basement as well. Um, flipping it around here. This is the original TV that we used to have wow. in our living room when I was a kid. It was down here in the basement when I was a kid. <laughs> what was what that? What are you doing, yeah? <laughs> Did you hear that? 
Yeah. So it was down here in the basement when I was a kid. This used to be the family room when I was a real little kid, right? And we used to watch this TV. It's a Quasar. I think that's how you say it. Quasar TV. So pretty cool that that thing's still around, right? We looked at Snake Mountain, but one thing. Oh, look at this. Super Scope 6. Now we are going to have to go on a rant on a vintage or I should say retro video game scavenger hunt around this house because I have a lot of retro video game stuff. So let's put that back there for when we go on that scavenger hunt. But what is cool is in here there are some other little random toys and such. But this is perhaps the pride of my collection right here. And some of you may already know what this is just by the little light that's hitting it. This is a box of G.I. Joe. Joe's. So we're going to get this over here. I hope there's no weird stuff in it. I sure hope not. And let's just take a look at the front of it. Some of these guys are familiar faces, right, that we see on here. I had action figures of him, 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 and him. So let's open this up and see what this collection looks like. Oh, man, look at this. Now, this would take forever to go through all of these. But I see a lot of them are in near mint condition because I did take very good care of my G.I. Joe's when I was a kid. There were some that I got in trades, trading with friends and stuff like that oh, really? that are not in quite as good of conditions. Yes. And and this was this was interesting to point out. This was a parachute, a G.I. Joe parachute. It's still, you can still see it's still in there. Snap on their back, throw them up in the air. Oh, was it attached to that dude that was in the um, bag? I don't remember the guy in the bag. Remember I said he was attached no, to the bag? No, no, this was actually like one of these guys. Oh. But I'm going to point out this guy real quick, and we'll do a closer look at him in the future. Ninja Viper, mail away special. I don't know how much he's worth, really, but I saw him going on eBay for... Good bit of money. A good bit of money. I forget exactly what it was. But we got the backpacks and stuff. So a lot of cool things with G.I. Joe's that we've really got to get into this and go through and highlight some of these guys. Right? Absolutely. So there's still quite a bit more to look at down here in the basement. And we'll take another trek back down here to kind of rummage around. But I want to thank you all for joining us as we explored all the things that were left behind down here uh, from my childhood. Pretty cool going through some of this stuff and seeing some of this stuff, and it'll be neat to take a closer look at it in the future. And make sure you like and subscribe because my dad is showing you all his important toys from when he was a kid, and that's not what you normally get. So make, make sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.